Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're talking about frequency tables. And we're going to work out how to know the mean, median, and mode from a frequency table. Here's an example of a frequency table, where these are the scores people scored in a competition. So five people scored zero, uh, eight people scored one, seven people scored two, six people scored three, and four people scored four points. So in this column, it tells you the data, and this tells you how often that data occurred. So we know that the score one happened eight times. The score three happened six times, like this. If you ever got confused with frequency tables, it might help you just to write the data out as a list so you understand what's going on. Now we're going to work out the mean, median and mode. To work out the mean, you would normally add up the entire list of numbers and divide by the number of numbers. That's a big, long list of numbers and it's going to take you a long time. There's a quicker way. On the table, we're going to add another column. It's called f of x. And to get this column, we're going to multiply the first two columns. 0 times 5 is 0. 1 times 8 is 8, 2 times 7 is 14, 3 times 6 is 18, 4 times 4 is 16. Once we've done that, we can add a bottom row to the column of the totals. We're going to find the total frequency by adding all these together. 5 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus 4 is 30. And then we're going to add up the fx column. 0 plus 8 plus 14 plus 18 plus 16 is 56. To work out the mean, we're going to do 56 divided by 30. The sum of the fx goes on top, the sum of the frequency goes on the bottom. Okay, tap that into your calculator and you get a 1.87 as the final answer. The average for all these scores is 1.87. Now, let's look at the median. The median is the middle number. And to know where the middle number is, we look at how many people are in total. There are 30 people in total. And uh, we're going to add 1 and then divide by 2. 30 plus 1 divided by 2 is 15.5. Use your calculator. We're looking for the 15.5th uh, score. Well, the first five scores are uh, 0. The... Um, Next, eight scores make 13, and that's the zeros and the ones added together. The next seven scores make 20. The next six scores make 26. And the next four scores make 30. So I'm adding up the frequencies as they go along. Now, I know the, I want to find the 15.5th position. And that's going to be between 13 and 20. So the median position is in this row here, which is a score of 2. So the median is a score of 2. What I just did there is I found I did 30 plus 1, the total frequency plus 1 divided by 2, which gave me 15.5. I was then looking for the 15.5th number. And to find that, I added the frequency as I went along. 5 plus 8, 13, plus 7, 20, plus 6, 26, plus 4, 30. I then looked for where 15.5 lay between these numbers here. And it was between 13 and 20. It was in this row. That's how I work out the median. Now, finally, we're interested in the modes. And the mode is the most common number. And the one with the highest frequency is 1. 1 occurs 8 times. That's the most uh, any number occurs. So the mode is 1. And now we know how to work out the mean, median, and mode from a frequency table. The mean, we draw a new column, a new fx column, and then divide the sum of the fx by the total frequency. The median, we find that, uh, the number in the n plus 1 over 2 position. And the mode, we find the number with the highest frequency. The mode is the easiest. We just look at these numbers in the frequency column, which one is biggest. Okay? Now, it's over to you to try some yourself. So here's a frequency table uh, that you have to try and figure out the mean, median, and mode from. If you need to rewatch the video, that's absolutely fine. 
before you try this yourself. The first thing I want you to do is write out the full list of data. Uh, so for example, there are uh, there's one child with an age of two, so we put a two here. Uh, there's four children with an age of three, so we put three, uh, four threes here. And just continue that list of data in full. Then I'd like to work out the mean age from the frequency table, doing the FX column and the total total. The median age by finding uh, where the middle person is. And the mode by looking for the most common age. Finally, I want you to uh, verify your answers by looking at the list of data here and trying to find a mean, median and mode uh, in a simple way you learned earlier in school, just from a list of data. Pause the video now and have a go at those questions. And when you're ready, you can press play and I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Let me know how you did in the comments. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video from Advanced Maths. Uh, we have plenty more videos coming every week, so remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.